despite the fact that the root cause of this conflict is illegal occupation, we have heard a tirade of criticism of Palestinians from Western powers and unflinching support for the occupying power. Welcome to Candid Africa. We've had repeated calls, as Comrade Khalida said, from UN member states for Israel to withdraw from the occupied territories to the 1967 borders. These decisions have been ignored, and instead, we have witnessed the burgeoning expansion of illegal settlements on Palestinian land, growing oppression of the Palestinian people, gross violation of their human rights, and the Gaza Strip being turned into an open-air prison, regularly denied electricity, water, and fuel. The current denial is not new. It's been happening time and time and time again. For 16 years, Gaza has been under siege, with its people struggling to survive the ongoing land, air, and sea blockade imposed by Israel, with Palestinians denied exit and entry into the Strip. I was horrified when one of our former leaders, comrade, I don't know if I should call him comrade anymore, comrade Tera Lekota, said that Israel is not an apartheid state. Well, it's the Palestinians are denied free exit and entry into their own land. They do not have free movement. We didn't have free movement under apartheid. Palestinian people use separate entrances when they go through the border. We had to use separate entrances under apartheid. Palestinian children do not have free access to education. It was the same for us. So I don't know what more Israel should do for Comrade Likota to recognize that it is an apartheid state. We've seen today increased Israeli aggression under the most far-right Israeli government we've ever seen. And we've seen the inaction by the Security Council, the very body whose mandate is to maintain international peace and security. Despite the fact that the root cause of this conflict is illegal occupation, we have heard a tirade of criticism of Palestinians from Western powers and unflinching support for the occupying power. Despite the fact that I've been called all kinds of names because I refused to call Russia an occupying power of Ukraine. I have always objected to double standards. These type of double standards are the result of a global system which is skewed in favor of the powerful to the detriment of those fighting for their rights and self-determination. I repeat, it is imperative that social movements raise their voices in solidarity with the Palestinian people, particularly given the notably biased media coverage of the current violence. It's unacceptable, eight decades nearly after its creation, five nations still wield disproportionate decision-making power in the Security Council, and those five number among the most problematic countries in the world, the causes of many of the problems I refer to today. So the overhaul of the UN system should include enforcement of decisions taken by, by what we hope will be a democratized UN Security Council. <clears throat> we also believe we should no longer accept a situation where countless UN resolutions are passed by the vast majority in the UN General Assembly, but are merely ignored. I believe we need to continue as South Africa to contribute to the building of a global progressive movement for a better Africa and a better world. People need to be shaken out of complacency and distraction. Progressive forces of the left need to step in, need to provide hope and vision, and offer up 
concrete pathways to political action. Across the global south, the progressive community has begun to rally. We look forward to the expansion of brave, united, vibrant social movements. As the great revolutionary leader of Cuba, President Fidel Castro said, we need to unite today to build the tomorrow we yearn for, to vindicate the always excluded, and to rescue faith in humanity. I hope we can do this, and I thank you for listening to me. There we have it. That has been our candid speech for today. Please feel free to give your opinions in the descriptions below. On this show, we don't tell you how to think or manipulate you. Everybody is open to air the opinion, what you think about the speech. Did you love it? Did you like it? Do you disagree with it? Do you agree with it? Please let us know in the comments below. That's important. Discussing these issues is very important. So now with that said, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Share this video with friends and family. It's the best way for YouTube to spread this video further, okay? Uh, so it's been me, Mikey Mushi from Tunacheki. And always remember, Africa is watching.